I've been watching an excessive amount of Deep Space Nine lately. It's I watched it a long time ago, and I always considered it kind of the soap opera of Star Trek, and I still stand by that. But man, I think it holds up. I think it holds up. I'm going to make a controversial statement here, okay? I think it holds up with Next Generation. I do. I said it. Hey, loons. Welcome back to Game Trip. Uh, this is me, Junior, your host, and we're playing Jet Force Gemini. And we're talking about a whole bunch of deep philosophical subjects uh, about, you know, space and aliens and, and stuff. We did, uh, we did something on alien life in the last episode, and I was planning emergence for this episode, because if, if you don't know what emergence is, just look up the word. It's, it's worth knowing what it is. Um, it's, it's a very deep subject about how intelligence can arise from non-intelligent things. It's about more than that, but that's what inter interests me the most about it for, for this Let's Play. But I kind of woke up on the wrong side of the bed today and uh, got really sad <laughs> and then I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't prepare anything. And that's, that's the dang old truth. So I'm, today we're just doing a regular normal guy Let's Play where I'm just going to play the game for 30 minutes, but I wanted to give you guys something today. And it's good because it gives me a chance to tell the new subscribers, because there's a lot of you, uh, kind of tell you what this channel's about, where it's going, you know, what we're doing here. Um, because it's a bunch of things. Ah! Tribals! Okay. You gotta save the tribals. You gotta save them. Oh, it's like a little resistance group. I'll save you, resistance group. Yeah. Oh, they're all in the same room. This makes it easy for me. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so when I started this, um, I thought, hey, I like video games. I like, and I pretty much like all of them. I'm really easy to please. I like them all at different levels, you know, but, you know, overall, I, I you put a game in front of me and I'm a happy guy, okay? It, it, Pong, from Pong to Elden Ring, I don't care. Madden, whatever, you just put, put a controller in my hand, okay? So I started this channel, and I'm like, well, I can't play every video game ever. That's actually impossible until they clone me. I figured out a way to do it, but we don't have the technology yet. Um, ah! Oh, these things shoot a lot of bullets, I remember. Oh, do I have a machine gun? Oh, I do! Ah! So what I settled on was every year I play as many games from that year 25 years ago as I can. So like last year we did 1998 and you'll see a full year's worth of 1998 games, you know, with a few special interests in there that were from later years that I just wanted to play. But overall we'll, we play retro games and um, and then when the next year comes we, we tackle games from that year. So since January is happening now we're in 1999, hence the reason we're playing Jet Force Gemini and Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh, well, Silver came out in... Oh! Oh, I almost killed him! Yeah! Okay, there's only one left. Well, I can't go through. I can't go through. I can't go through, because that's the end of the level. I gotta get that last tribal, wherever he is. And that's basically it. And it, for, for a while, it was basically just a chill comedy let's play. Like, I'm kind of a doofy guy, and I just like making jokes mostly. But I also study philosophy. And uh, that's, I mean, that's part of what gave me a great appreciation for dumb humor. You know, you, you really don't appreciate the dumb, simple things until you've analyzed the entire universe top to bottom, and then you're like, oh, ho, ho, everything's awesome. Um, but, yeah, so I, I started doing this, and uh, we didn't get much traction until I actually started talking about philosophy, which I didn't think anyone would really want to hear me go on about that, but hey, it's fun. And you do, so thanks. But, uh, you know, we, we have certain games where we're not going to do that, like Pokemon, where, you know, I just like to basically make fun of Professor Oak until it's over. Uh, so I'll let you guys know, usually at the beginning of the episode, if it's that kind of Let's Play or not. And maybe I'll just rebrand it as another titled series or something so no one gets confused. Um, and I'm Junior Host. I'm just a regular guy. Uh, I like to talk about philosophy, but I'm not a... I don't have a doctorate. Hell, I only have a diploma. <laughs> Those, like, if you were, if this is the episode where you're gonna find out my credentials, that I don't have any. 
I just, I have ADHD. I got super interested in philosophy and in my, in my life personally, it was the only obsession that stuck my entire life. Um, you know, I've, I've, sw I've learned music and art and oh, like, I like the arts a lot and poetry and all sorts of things. Um, and I've been a farmer and a welder and in the medical field. And I just, I like done everything a little bit. I'm one of those guys, but I did philosophy mostly, you know, I kept doing that and, uh, it's, you know, it hasn't made me any money and it's got me a very small amount of YouTube fame. So I, I guess I'm thankful for that, but it's, it's like, if you ever do it, just, do, it's for your life. Like, if you, you gotta know. You don't have to know. In fact, at some, 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 uh, what do you call them, philosophies, will tell you that, you know, if having a few ignorant people around is actually really healthy. You know, not everyone needs to know. Everyone, in fact, diversity just tends to be the best course. Where are you? Where, uh, uh, where is this tribal? Okay, can't go underwater. We can't leave a tribal, guys. I, it's just, it's so much to go back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut to where I find him. Hold on. Ah, I hate it, though. He's just there. He's all alone, too. It's sad. You know what this reminds me of? It's Mass Effect. This game has a very Mass Effect feel to it. Oh, sweet. I guess we beat the level. Anyway, so now you know what the channel is. I mean, that's what it is. I'm going to really, I mean, I've always wanted to teach philosophy. It's like a lifelong dream. Um, and I've never had the opportunity to. So uh, this is a fun way for me to live that out. And it's cool. But, you know, don't believe everything I say. Like, I mean, one of my favorite philosophers, uh, Rick Roderick, who, uh, well, he's, you know, he died only like 30 or something years ago. But, uh... He's giving a lecture and he's just like, he's like, oh yeah, you know, just, it's like this, believe me. But then he just stops. He just stops and like makes a funny face. Like he just made a mistake. He's like, wait, he's like, don't believe me. He's like, hell, why? <laughs> I mean, granted he is giving a lecture on like suspicion and, um, you know, um, people taking you, you know, giving you the run around and stuff like that. So it's appropriate, but yeah, don't, Whatever I tell you, like, I'm not, I'm definitely not the final word on things. I'm just a guy like you, unless you're something, someone else, you know, but whatever. You know, you're, you're a person, I'm a person, the end, right? <laughs> uh, if anything, I just like discussions. I like how Socrates used to do philosophy. Uh, you know, you just, you get in a room and you talk and you figure things out. And if you're, you know, someone asked Socrates once, they were like, you're like, I'm going to win an argue. Uh, what if I win this argument? He's like, what will you pay me? You know, uh, or, or, or like, what is owed to to, to 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 me? Oh, here we go. We got something. We got something here. Um, and Socrates is just like, you know, the same thing that is owed to everyone who loses an argument or whatever. He's like that he shall learn from the better. Oh, the plasma shotgun, which I always thought was a great line. I forgot this one. What does it do? Oh. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I love this game. It's fun. Yeah, they gave me some ammo because they knew I was going to play around with it for a minute. Okay. Yeah, you can just shoot a regular one, too. But let's get the pistol out for now. We don't want to waste ammo. Oh, yeah, and that's a jet, that's a jet pack thing. That's for uh, Lupus, the dog. He, cause he can fly. Whoa! Oh, sh oh! I remember this. Let's get that plasma shotgun out and give it a whap. Woohoo! Oh, ho -ho -ho! instant kill! Oh, I love this. This is fun. Oh, big guy! Oh, it didn't get him. Oh, tribal! Oh, I almost, yeah, you can blow them up if you're not careful. Killing them is funny. Like, I, my first playthrough, I basically just killed all the tribals. Um, but, you know, they are, they are creatures. They matter. Oh, that guy just blew up. Oh, this is the, this is the best. Oh, you're still alive, huh? Boom. Wow, they got a lot of health. 
<laughs> Everywhere. You're you're next, dude. <laughs> This was one of the goriest, dramatic things back in the day. It was so much fun. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to talk about it in Kingdom Hearts uh, when we get to the Tarzan levels. But I did actually um, live out... Like, I decided... It, it's, it's a long story, okay? So it's not this simple. But I decided my life was... I don't know. I just... I felt like I was lacking something. And, uh... I ended up going out with no money and just being a hobo for like two years, like all over the, the United States. And um, had some crazy adventures. But uh, it really gave me a lot of perspective. And, and that was before I even started to, to study or anything like that. Like I was just, you know. Um, now I was just some guy not able to come to terms with his own existential questions, right? Uh, but um, I don't know if you can. If, I count that as like my probably my 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 biggest credentials though because uh, I learned a lot about people mostly. But anyway, we'll talk about that in Kingdom Hearts. I don't want to spoil it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And occasionally we have other people on the channel. Um, I have a whole bunch. Of, oh, I think I'm supposed to shoot these. Yeah. But I have a few friends I like to have on the channel, which just people I think are cool and hilarious, you know? And wait, yeah, I was just in here. They've been my pals for years and, you know, um, I've worked in the, I worked in the weed industry quite a bit, a cannabis that is, you know? Da, 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 da. Though I'm not condoning it, YouTube, okay? You hear me? <laughs> I'm not, but, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, nah. Uh, I just... I've... Oh, where, where, yep, there he is. Um, but I worked in the industry for a long time, and I know it pretty much up and down, and I've seen a lot of crazy crap happen in it. Uh, you know, everything from securities fraud to just gangster-type stuff. Um, which I didn't think it was going to be like that. What? Th there's one more ant. Where is he? Hey, that... Where are you, dude? Ah, you got a slippery ant. Nope, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> Let's not forget his head. Oh, and look over there. You don't want to miss those. Those are um, some sort of ammo booster. And these things. Oh. I think I'm supposed to destroy them. Let's see. Well, that's not going to do it. Uh-huh. All right. I think this was the way. There's all sorts of little secret paths in this game. It's not It's not super linear, which is really cool. It's just... Ah. 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 Barrels. Yeah, you can shoot the grenades out of their hand, too. A nice touch. There's a tribal. <laughs> the hip fire is the is really the best way to go. But anyway, I hope that gives you a clear picture of what's good, what, what we do here. So, not that in, not that many people are watching the Jet Force Gemini play, but maybe eventually. I think it's a cool game. I'm gonna finish it. I don't I don't give a damn if none of you watch it. But yeah, you know, please watch it and subscribe and comment and all that stuff because I love that. It makes me super happy. Uh, this thing. Pretty sure. No. Nah, I just remember you were supposed to destroy some stuff in this level. Okay, there better not be a tribal down there. Uh, so much pistol ammo. What am I going to do with all that, guys? Oh, huh. oh, yeah, and there's a really cool, like, disco bar in this game with a bunch of aliens, like, dancing, and you can just start, start oh, murdering the whole club. 
Woo! I think it's on the ant planet. Yeah, I'm just hip firing. Whatever. Get out of my way. Aww. Oh yeah, the yellow ants. I think they're like civilians or something, but you can you get a you get a bunch of health, and you really want to collect different kinds of heads. Wait, was that a tribal up there? Ah, whatever, I can't get up there anyway. At this point now, I'm probably gonna have to start leaving tribals behind because certain levels are meant to be played with certain characters. Oh, my gun hand had tea in it. I didn't, I didn't expect a, a room full of enemies immediately. And there's some weird enemies in this room, I remember. I, I remember this, I guess I played this a lot. It was one of my favorite games. I don't know why I, I never replay it. Like, th this is the first time I've replayed it since I was a kid. And I remember it better than Kingdom Hearts, which I've played, I don't know, <laughs> five or six times since I've been a child. <laughs> Sniping with a machine gun is uh, <laughs> not recommended, everybody. Can I get Floyd? No, I don't think I get Floyd till later. But he's got a secret level in this room. Oh, mines! You know what? I should use the pistol. Got it. I think I can get. Yeah, I get mines too. That's one of the things I. Oh, that hurt. I'm almost dead. Yeah, so the cell doors, uh, I think they're all in one room, and I go through the level, and I start, oh, sweet, health. It's like full health. I start collecting them, and then I get all sorts of goodies out of the cell doors. Oh, these guys are just flying around. Ah, I got such terrible aim. No! You know what? Shotgun time. I can't! No! Stupid no! Uh. Ah. Boom! Got like three of those suckers. Come on out of your corner, buddy. Boom. Okay, let's uh machine gun these dudes down. Or you know what? I think I can pistol whip them from a distance. That's called shooting. That's what we call pistol whipping when you're far away. Shit, dude! With your grenades already- With the grenades already! Ah, there you go. Blow up in your face, asshole. Seriously, who, ca who carries that many grenades? What an asshole. <laughs> Such bad aim. There we go. Oh. And I finally kill them all. Okay. Wow, this game's intense. Now, I want to go in here. I feel like there's something good in here. Oh, yeah. You know, there were a lot of these in old um, video game space architecture, these, like, glass tubes. And I feel like I don't see them as much anymore. They're like, I don't know, because it's, it's pretty inaccurate. A glass tube would just shatter in space or something, right, from atmosphere. It just wouldn't hold up. You know, sun rays and radiation would get in, and nobody wants that. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna, this is where the wonky controls are going to screw me. No. Looks like there's something over there. And there's a door over there. Alright, let's head over. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the phone. You see that down there? Okay, let's get out the pistol so I don't... Wait, we'll just use this, yeah. That was a tricky one. No! 
Uh, okay, what is this thing? I, I, I'm not familiar with this. Oh, wait. Bonus feature. Oh, yeah, it's like multiplayer stuff. So in the multiplayer, you can play as all the different enemies and characters you see in the game just with a gun. So you start unlocking them, doing things like that. I don't think I'm going down. Yeah, this is where the Floyd level. Ah! <laughs> no! Roaches, I hate them. My first house had roaches. I paid $300 a month for it in my first house. It was a, it had a busted out window and Frankenstein shaped style. It was just weird. It was, it was not well taken care of. And there were roaches everywhere. And I used to chase them around with a vacuum cleaner. And that's how, uh, that's how I clean that place. Yeah, there's the Floyd tunnel. Well, I've really gone on a, oh. Oh, okay, so maybe uh, this is worth it. What's in here? Cluster bombs! That's a good one. <laughs> they only give me one because it wrecks house. God, I hear cluster bombs are really popular in warfare, warfare these days. I mean, I guess they probably always would be, you know, since we invented them. But that's just horrifying. I mean, I guess once you're dead in war, you're dead, but still. Uh, it just... There's so much war going on right now, it's it's scary. You know? Uh, I don't... I, one, one thing, I, I since I do talk about a lot of philosophy that inevitably delves into politics on its own, so I try to talk about that as little as possible, because... I'm not trying to make political statements here, guys. I'm just trying to have fun. You know. Uh, I mean, if, like, Hitler comes back to life and starts killing us all, I'll say something, okay? I, I really, I will. But barring that, I'll probably just, you know, keep that outside the channel and stuff like that, because yeah, you know, nobody wants to, to fight about stuff in my comments section. I'm sure it's going to happen, but don't fight over that. Fight over whether or not you think I suck or something. Decompressor! Decompressorize the compartment! I've been watching an excessive amount of Deep Space Nine lately. It's... I watched it a long time ago, and I always considered it kind of the soap opera of Star Trek, and I still stand by that. But man, I think it holds up. I think it holds up. I'm gonna make a controversial statement here, okay? I think it holds up with Next Generation. I do. I said it! Yeah, you can, you can, you can shame me all you want, but you know what? I'm enjoying the crap out of it. Not that there's not bad episodes, but the cool thing about Deep Space Nine it, is the the side characters. It's not any of the main characters that really impress me. I mean, even though they're they're good on their own, you know. But it's it's you know, Quark, O'Brien, uh, Odo. You know, these these like characters you think would be side characters, but they just end up being integral to the plot. Oh, wow. I guess I didn't unlock that many cell doors. What do we got here? Oh, it's Vila! It's Vila! Yeah, I unlocked Vila. Thanks, Juno. I knew you could, I could count on you. So much for this place being deserted. Anyway, I promised to go after Lupus. Well, who'd you promise? Lupus? We overheard some guards when we arrived. Which told us all about the drone generator. They said... <laughs> what are these ants talking English with their jib-jabber uh, pincers there? I got careless and a big bug slapped me in the ass. He couldn't free me, so I told him to go on. Go on, get out of here, old yeller. Oh, wait, they shot old yeller. That was the wrong dog. <laughs> Let's not shoot lupus. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay. I gotta check the time. Uh, hold on, guys. 
Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good on time. Okay, we meet up at Mizar's palace. Don't forget that. Me. Sweet. Oh, I can't save all of you. So, like, what's the point? Because I'm just going to have to come back and save you all again. But I'll do that in the off time. I, 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 like, I'll, I'll likely never make you guys watch me go back and search for random crap in levels. You almost have to revisit it, because before you get to this room, you don't really understand what these switches are doing. You didn't even know there was a cell, really. Maybe you did if you paid attention to the plot, but I certainly didn't. Yeah, so I think I got everything. I think there's this, there's like a second layer that you can get to with the, with the dog. I'll save you. I want to show you guys killing a tribal, but I feel like it, I just, it's, I don't have it in me anymore. I don't want to kill the tribals. But if you guys really want, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I have a thing about NPCs where I think they might be subtly conscious, but it's just a, it's just a fear of mine, okay? I don't think I can legitimize it, but still. I mean, just, just wait until they start. I know, I know artificial intelligence is an actual artificial intelligence. I get that it's just a complex rearranging of code, you know, and verbal statements and patterns and things like that. Like, it doesn't actually mean what it says. It's just working to provide you a certain answer. Um, but for me, consciousness is just responsiveness. If it can respond to me, I think it has a level of consciousness. Even rocks. You know, just very low level, right? All right, Vila! Vila's basically the same as Juno, but she can swim. Later, she, can, she learns how to swim. And I kind of like her ship. It's it's cool. It's it's like a I don't know. It's triangular. I like all their ships. I can't I can't pick one. It's like Cowboy Bebop. Who has the coolest ship? Well, they kind of all do. Deep Star Star Two Deep Space Nine. <laughs> Someone should make a mod. But slap that on there for me. No, I, no one does that kind of stuff for me. I'm 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 not famous enough. <laughs> uh. Like it, her ship looks like the helmet to a Zord. Bella, thank goodness you're safe. But where are my manners? Call me Midge. I work in the <laughs> Midge and Jeff. I work in the union with Magnus. They sent me down here to negotiate with Mizar, though I told him it'd be a waste of time. Big ugly brute. Broke three of my fingernails. But at least we stand a fighting chance with a full Gemini team on the loose again. If we wait for the Union to make a stand, it'll be too late. We're relying on you now. Just be very careful aboard the Sekhmet. The raids on Goldwood were launched from this ship, so it's crawling with nasty drones and their tribal prisoners. I'd free them myself, but I'm allergic to violence. Better hurry, too. I saw one of the amazing mining Mole Brothers arrive earlier. That's, that's weird on its own. Well, I'll let you get on with it, though I suggest you abandon this old crate before the military base. It reaches the military base, so you don't stand a chance of getting off undetected. And when you see that Mizar, give him a slap from me. I'm off to take some Benadryl for my violence allergy. Oh, good, good. Okay, so they don't share guns. So you kind of have to get every gun with every character. Kind of a pain. But then you end up having to use different things, which is cool. So I got 10 grenades. Let's just give it a whap. Cool. This game was rad. This game was rad. I mean, there's like actual bouncing physics. <laughs> they just throw their working sticks away when they see you. They're like, oh shit, finally. Freedom. Sweet. Okay, let's keep going. Um, which way? Hmm. Green key required, and that one needs the green key. Eat 
Side step and side step and side step and side step and ha! If you've ever seen uh, Great Great Greatest Little Whorehouse in Texas, the uh, Dolly Parton movie, they've got a very funny song with a politician, <laughs> and he's just like, "I'm side stepping out of the way." I, I don't remember the words, but he's just like avoiding everything by like disappearing into the shadows behind everyone. It's, it's like a Scooby Doo thing, but anyway, it's good. Check out that movie. It's it's good. <laughs> Alright. Bye! Oh, come on, that sucked. Uh, just better to use the pistol. Oh, nope. Well, I guess throwing grenades uphill has probably never been too recommended by anyone who's ever thrown a grenade. I'd be scared to throw a grenade. I, I don't know, I don't trust an explosive if I can't see what it's doing. Weirds me out. So that was not a pig dying, uh, as it sounded like. That was actually just one of those guys dying. Oh, down here. The same room. I like the the side strafing is one of the cool things about this game. Oh, they got shields now! Oh, grenades! Ah. 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 <laughs> Die! <laughs> oh, I am lagging something fierce. <laughs> Die! 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 Okay, I gotta let my pistol recharge. Where is he? Yeah, so it's cool. There is locational damage. You can kind of see that, like, uh, the hitbox isn't just the guy. I can move around the shield and everything. It has to be the... You know, the, the Nintendo 64 had that expansion port yeah, the, that gave it more power, and it has to be... This has to be one of those games. Yeah, it was a rare game. Rare games were using that. Oh, come on, dude. Will you just die? <laughs> He's moving around. There he is. He's dead. <laughs> and I don't have the machine gun, so I can't open that door over there. So, looks like we're going upstairs. Any tribals? I don't see any tribals in this room. Doesn't mean there's not any, though. They're good at hiding. Uh, I can't get through that door over there. Those are jetpack pads. I don't think this room's for me. Now I gotta check the time again. Hold on, guys. Okay, we got like three minutes left. See if I can do this level in three minutes. Oh! Ah! 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 No! No! My grenades—they got ruined. They'll th throw them backwards. Grenade! Grenades? Oh no! Pistol! Oh yeah! The, the explosions from the guys blowing up is blowing them up. You see how they 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 reform their formation too? Like, I know it, it's, it probably doesn't seem that cool these days, but 25 years ago, that was nuts. Oh, yeah, and speaking of which, I'll probably mention it on the next episode, because I'm not getting paid or anything, but I just want people to know that this is being uh, re-released or remastered or something this year. Part of the reason I like to play games from 25 years ago is they tend to get a remaster that I can play instead, uh, which is fun. I love the originals, but I've played so many old games. It's fun to, for me to see a cool remaster. They're not always great, but they're, they're usually at least bearable. But like the Spyro remaster, we're going to do Ripto's Rage pretty soon. That one's really good. Ah, I don't like this room. I don't like this room. Oh, no. Too many bullets. Too many bullets, too many bullets, too many bullets, too many bullets, too many bullets. 
need a red key. Uh-oh. Okay. They okay, can't seem to hit me very well from... Get the ones that are closest first. So their aim suffers. Oh, please be worth it. So, if it looks like I can't aim, it's because the aiming and the movement stick are the same stick, and the strafe is a different stick, again, which is super confusing. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ah! Ah! Hmm. Yeah, I think Juno's supposed to go down there. I can't get through the red key door without a red key. Okay. Well, you know, let's just head in here and look around one more again. Nothing, huh? Perhaps there is a way I could go down here? I mean, I don't have the machine gun is the problem. Without the machine gun, you can't open these, uh, these doors here. Here, I'll give a demonstration. So you need a certain amount of speed or it won't work. Ah, maybe this door, no, I went, no, didn't I come in that door? I don't know. Well, anyways, guys, looks like I got some figuring out to do and the episode's about to be over, so I'll see you next time on Game Trip where I'll have prepared some actual cool content for you guys, but um, I hope you enjoyed this, so thanks for watching. <laughs>